Hey love, we're back with another YouTube video. It took me hours and hours and hours and hours and hours and hours literally to come up with a topic for you guys, but we're gonna jump right into the topic. And before I get to starting, my head been hurting all morning since I woke up. Like I had a major bad headache. So it was like hurt on this side of my head. I'm like, what's going on? Like, why do I have a headache? But I feel a little better now. My head's not hurting as much as it was earlier, but my head was hurting, so I'm like, I don't know what was going on. Maybe I was thinking too much. But yeah. Um, we're gonna jump right in. So keep going and keep praying. So we're gonna keep praying about your choices. We're not gonna let it um defeat us. We're not gonna let it um stress us out even more than we're already stressed out because we're gonna be stressed out regardless. But we have to just keep praying and keep going. What I mean by keep going and keep praying. So keep going to work. Don't don't um don't let your emotions get in the way of it. I know you're feeling sad today. I know you're feeling weak. I know you feel like you can't do it. I know you're just feeling overwhelmed and you like this girl probably don't understand me. But at the end of the day, I truly do understand. Um, well, I can understand you a little bit, but God can understand you more. So it's like when you go to the source and you tell him like all your concerns and what you're worried about, what you're just about, he's going to help you out. So he's going to relieve that stress off your body. He's going to take it from your body and he's going to store it somewhere where it can't get out. So he's going to store it all the way down like literally all the way down all that stress you were carrying he's gonna he's gonna care he's gonna like put it in the trash can it's gonna go all the way down because stress doesn't live in you and it does not live in god it's not something that god carry god doesn't carry stress i mean he carries your stress to get a to get it off of you and take it away for you but i mean like god is not stressed out about nothing because god can work anything out of everything else so he's not going to be concerned and you shouldn't be concerned either at the end of the day you have to keep going and keep praying yes you're going to have hard times yes things are not going to be always peaches and cream or peaches and pads whatever you want to say but it's about how you overcome that that um situation and why by overcoming situations that we experience in life with anything um cancer heartbreak um rape anxiety um all these different things we're going through bullying um not feeling great not feeling like we're not enough not feeling like we're pretty not feeling like we're we have an opinion not feel like feel like our opinion doesn't matter let me rephrase that feel like our opinion doesn't matter because everyone has an opinion so let me rephrase that everyone has an opinion but not feeling like you're not confident enough you are very confident in yourself so one thing about it is you should pray for confidence pray that you have the confidence to know that you're beautiful you know that you're beautiful you know that you're handsome you know you're attractive so pray for that self-esteem a lot of us I'm not going to say of a lot of us, but some of us, we struggle with self-esteem. We feel like some days we're, our, we're not pretty, and some days we feel like we need to go seek validation. And we don't need to seek validation. What we need to do is seek the Lord. He won't give you validation, but he will give you, like, um, courage to know that you're, you're, um, you're smart, you're unique, you're beautiful, you're amazing, you're handsome, you're all these good things, like... When you're feeling low and you're feeling depressed or you feel like, you know, life is just weighing you down and you just like, I can't get through it. Tell God, like, I'm going through so much in my life, like, so much just same overwhelming. This whole year, like, let's say this whole year just felt like it was overwhelming. Like, you had your good days and your bad days, but really, like, the bad days really affected you more. So tell him so he could start getting it in, putting in more good days for you because you can't really focus on bad days. You have to focus on the positive days. So what what has God done for you throughout this whole year? What why what has he walked you through this whole year that was so complicated for you that you just like you couldn't get out of it? Prayer is so powerful and I tell you guys this all the time. Prayer is so powerful. Prayer is the number one key to happiness and it's, that's it like god is the number one source to really go to when you're having these trials and tribulations and you can't figure out such and such um god is your um best kit to go to please please now the group chat want to text me and tell my how far we got up in the group are you serious right now Okay, but as I was saying, you have to keep going. You have to keep praying. You know, you just have to know that God is um, really working and knowing that he's your alternator. He's going to make, you know, stuff work out for you. 
He's going to figure everything out for you. He's going to, um, he's going to, um, he's going to figure out an answer for you. So in some situations, it might not be like, like the way you want it to be. Like, let's say you felt like you prayed in like in the morning, like for me, for instance, I feel like when I pray in the morning, cause I always pray in the morning, I feel like God is not like really listening. He comes through all the time. But you can't, and I feel like the devil really plays in my head no more because he know the first thing I'm going to do is pray, and he know that I'm going to talk to God before I do anything. Like, you know, I might look at my phone a little bit, but I'm going to always go to God at the end of the day. So he be looking like I'm going to distract her and tell her God is not going to help her out today. I'm just going to get in her head and just tell her, like, you know, he don't care for you for real. But that's not the case here. God really cares for you all day long. He never stops caring. He knows that you're gonna what you're gonna do before you do it. So he knows all the things that you're gonna do before you do it. He just don't want you to live a life where you're sad all the time because when you go to heaven, you I don't know what's gonna happen, but you might be happy. I don't know. But whatever happens, you will see the Lord and you will know that he's always been there for you. So I can't really say what's gonna happen when you go to heaven because I haven't been to heaven, so I don't know what's gonna happen for real. But what I can say is God is real and he's always working out for y'all. And I have this Bible verse. Now, I don't know how to break this down for y'all. This came through my phone today because I have the Bible app on my phone. I thought about putting this out here for y'all. Um, so, it basically reads, I wait for the Lord. My my hopes be in wait and his word, I put my hope. I put my hope. So, I guess that's, that's Palms 31. 135, so I guess I'm going to just say, like, you know, how to break that down. I'm going to see if I can break this down for y'all. So, when you waiting on the Lord, um, put your hope into um, waiting as well. Because um, you're supposed to wait on God, and he's not going to never let you down. When you're in the process of waiting for God to do something, he's going to do it. So you have to believe that and have faith in yourself. Because even when I'm doubting, I still have to see him. So I'm like, God is still going to come through for me. I just have to really believe that. Believe that that he will come through for me. And he will do what he has to do at the end of the day. God has never let me down. God has never like left my side. God has never turned his back on me. God has never did nothing but help me out in the best way as he could. Even though I might have turned my back on him. Even though I might have doubted him at the end of the day. And yes, before you say, does he have feelings? Yes, even if you don't say that, I'm here to tell you, God does have feelings. God feels exactly how you feel. You mistreat him. God cries and all that. So at the end of the day, he's like, I help my child out every single day. And it hurts me that she doubts me or it hurts me that he doubts me. He needs to understand that I'm going to get them through this situation. And I know it might not look like that right now because I'm putting, I'm too busy putting pieces together to help you through this situation. So I'm putting the pieces together. I'm trying to see what connects with what. So I can't just throw anything in there. I have to make sure it connects together like it can sticks together. Like, I wish I had, like, an example or something, like. I don't know. Maybe I could do it with, like, a piece of paper. Like I did yesterday. I think I could do it, like, with a piece of paper. So, when... I think I'm going to do that again. Because I really be trying to, like, demonstrate and show y'all what I'm talking about. Because I ain't really got nothing for real that I could use for real. That's why I be using my paper for some time. Show y'all where I be coming from. So, yeah. Let me get my paper. Oh, Jesus. Okay. So, we're going to start... So, okay. This is your life. You know, it doesn't, your life is not broken yet. So, everything going right and everything like, peace is the green. Excuse me. But you stop praying to God. Okay. Stop praying to God. You tell yourself, well, I don't got to pray because I feel like I have everything figured out. I feel like nothing's going to happen. You say that. Okay. They still going on. 
out of nowhere, everything just start like going loose, like everything just break loose. So y'all like, oh yeah, you don't need me. Okay, your life is in shambles. Like you going through a real hard times. Remember, you said you don't need God. He ain't. He ain't gonna do nothing. He just a myth. He just fake. He all is fake. Now your life is is hurting. Now you're hurting because you're going through so much. And your friend is telling you like, well, did you pray that you like, no, because I was too caught up in work and I was too caught up in, say I'm your friend. I was too caught up in work and I was just, and you saying this, I was too caught up in work. I was too caught up with taking my kids. I was too caught up doing this. I was too caught up doing that. And I'm telling you like, okay, um, but did you have any time doing that episode? Like doing anything? Like did you have time to really sit down and talk to God today? I don't know, because I had to make sure this is right, that was right, this is right. How you didn't have time to talk to God? It's twenty four hours in a day. You had time to talk to him. So God is like, He see you crying, you like, Oh, I just don't know what I'm gonna do and I feel like God's giving up on me. God is like, nah. God is looking at you. He like, okay, my child needs my help. I'm going to help them. They lost their faith a little bit, but I'm going to get them back on track. So God come back. He put your, he put your life back together. I expect the wrong way. Excuse me. Come back. He put your life together. And Bam. So you tell your friend, you like, girl, I started praying more. I told God I was sorry for not praying to him today. I told God I was sorry for all day that I didn't pray to him. And guess what, girl? He blessed me so much. Tell me why Um, I got a big, um, big, um, what I want to say. Tell me why I, my, um, tell me why my, uh, what I want to say. That's a good example. Tell me why, like. I come home and all my dishes clean. When I left, my 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 um kitchen was dirty. All my dishes clean, and then I take the meal. I got like a thousand or some dollars. Like I just got a lot of money today. So you know what I'm finna do, girl? I'm finna go out, stay, and I'm finna go just thank the Lord for everything He did for me. And then I'm gonna go out and I'm gonna go back me some stuff, whatever. So. Basically saying, like, God is always blessing you. He's going to always help you. All you have to do is just keep praying to him, keep talking to him. And I know um, it be hard some days. And I'm not saying that every day is, like, simple, like, it's going to be easy to like that. But at the end of the day, pray. Don't forget about God. He don't forget about you. Whenever you need him, he always there for you. So don't ever think that you don't have to pray and do these things because you do have to pray and do these things. So we're gonna pray. We're gonna pray. Father God, I just come to you and I ask you to give every subscriber. I don't know what they're dealing with, um, but whatever they're dealing with on today or any day, Father God, I pray that you show them the light and show them that things will be better over time. Um, and know that you're working everything out for 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 their favor, Father God. I just know that you work everything out. I just know that you will come through for us, Father God. I know I know you will come through for me. You show me on multiple times that you come through for me. And I just thank you for everything you have done in my life and the things that you're gonna do in my life, Father God. I pray that you help every subscriber. I don't know what they're dealing with, Father God. I just be trying to make my videos so where they can understand and I just you know, try to help them and just try to uplift them the best way that I can and tell them that you're working because you are always working. Um, so we just thank you for today. We thank you for great health. We thank you for great spirits. We thank you for everything, Father God. And we just, and I just pray as I'm continuing this word that you give me more things to say throughout this vlog, Father God, even if it may be like off the wall or just. Well, not off the wall, but, you know, just relating to you um, and saying what you can do, like, you know, stuff like that. I just want to make them feel like their new home, like your, your, um, your message is being spread. And I try to do that each and every day for you, Father God. I try to get your whole plan and let you know that we love you. We will always be here to pray to you, too. Ask for guidance and 
you know, just whatever we need. Father God, I just hope that you help us out and that you hear our prayers each and every day. Father God, we love you and we worship you forever. We don't worship the devil, but we rebuke him in your son, Jesus. But we just ask you for clarification and the things we don't get and clarifications for everything else we don't get. Father God, we just need you. I need you, Father God, in your son, Jesus' name, I pray. Amen. So, yeah. <laughs> yeah, so um we just I'm just saying like keep going in life. Um things will get better for you guys over time. I don't know why this group chat is texting me, asking me how far we got into the project anyway, as I was saying, because I've been told them about doing this project. Now they want to come to me at 9.22 at night. No matter of fact, she texts me at exactly 9.10 at night and asks me how are we, how far are we in the project. I'm not even responding back due to the fact that I've been trying to reach out to them and they're just not responding to me. I'm not responding back. But anyways, and the reason why I'm not responding back is because I've been told them multiple times. So I'm not doing it no more. And I just told my cousin, that's what we were talking about. She just took me out and I thought, like, now they want to tell me, like, they want to start the project or whatever. We should have been started. I'm not going to keep playing. It's like, we have to keep going. So, it's like, you can't just give up because you're tired or whatever the it is. Take a little break. It's okay to take little breaks in between life, but you can't just take a break forever. You got to you gotta get back up out here. So, you got to get back up do what needs to be done at the end of the day. You have to. You have to, the courage, the strength. You have all these people around you, you, and you have the best important person in your life, and that's God. He can help you through it all. So just ask him for it to keep you going, to keep you inspired, to keep you motivated, to keep you pressing. I mean, to keep you pushing to what you need to push towards as, as your goals. We are in this year and to go into 2024. So we need to start making goals. We need to see set out what we want to happen for 2024. Um, or I, I wouldn't even say make no goals for 2024. Just leave it to God. So leave it to God. However he wants this year to go for you, he will make that year go for you. Just leave it to God. Just say, God, I surrender. I put 2024, 2024 in your hands. I'm not going to worry about how 2024 is going to go. I'm just going to let you alternate and go how 2024 is going to go. But yeah. Give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this vlog. Because I really tried for y'all. I really, really did try for y'all. This is really hard for me to come up with. And like I said, I had a headache all day. I don't know what's going on, but I had a headache all day. Um, But yeah, I'm not responding back as far as this group chat. They are trash. I'm not responding back. So, I'm not. No. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this work. And if you're new here, comment, like, subscribe. Um... Yeah, and we're going to talk about God even more throughout my vlogs. Um, I know it's Vlogmas Week, so um, this is like a Vlogmas Week. Um, but I really want to focus on God more. Vlogmas Week is like, it's cool, but God matters more, so more than Vlogmas Week. So, yeah, we're going to focus on God more. And we're not gonna leave God out on any on any videos that I do. I'm just not doing that. So okay, so we're gonna jump right into the the godly words and all that. And download that Bible app. I've been telling y'all get that Bible app because that Bible app will give y'all words throughout the day. I need to turn down my brightness so y'all can see the Bible app that I be talking about. So let me see if y'all can see my phone. So. Y'all see where it says Holy Bible. Y'all see that? I probably got to turn off my light for y'all to see. Okay, let's see. Can y'all see? Oh, I probably got to turn off my brightness. I'm trying to get y'all to see. Can y'all see like the Bible app on my phone? So it's right there. Holy Bible. But yeah, I'm not going to make this vlog no longer than what it needs to be. I hope you guys enjoyed this vlog. And I hope y'all really like it.
And I hope I really tried because, like I said, I had a headache all today. And I still want to get on and give God's word. So I just hope it really helped you guys. But I'm going to end the vlog here. Comment, like, subscribe if you're new here. Comment, like, subscribe. Um, and introduce yourself. Let me know how you feel about my videos. Let me know if I did good in this video. Let me know if I can improve more. You know, be honest with me. Let me know. But don't be mean to me. Be nice. But let me know how I did in this video overall. Bye, loves.